Johnny. It's time for Johnny Oomph's lame attempt at a joke. Let's get it over with. Here's Johnny. All right, Johnny. <laughs> okay, so this woman's husband had been slipping in and out of a coma for several months. Yet she stayed by his bedside every single day. One day when he came to, he motioned for her to come over. She sat by him, he whispered, eyes full of tears. You know what? You've been with me through all the bad times. When I got fired, you were there to support me. When my business failed, you were there. When I got shot, you were by my side. When we lost the house, you stayed right here. When my health started failing, you were still by my side. You know what? What, dear? She gently asked, smiling. Her heart was just filled with warmth. I think you're bad luck. Oh, you guys, that's... <sighs> Maybe that's it was a, the delivery. That was just a warm-up joke, yeah. You, you sound like you're going to fall asleep there for a while, Johnny. Memorial weekend, <laughs> it's golf joke, you know. All right, here we go. It's going to be sunny Saturday and Sunday. Somebody will be out, I'm sure. There was a threesome of men warming up on the first tee at Pebble Beach. Very beautiful young woman came up and asked if she could join him in their round they asked what her handicap was she told him it was a four which by the way is pretty good if you're a golfer you know that they said they'd be happy to have her join the group she told them that she's always wanted to play pebble beach and what a very special day this was for her when the round began it quickly became clear that she was very good she was quite a good golfer she hit the ball beautifully showed exceptional skills in all aspects of the game and throughout the round she told the other members of the group that it's been her lifelong dream to play Pebble Beach and to have a great round, and she certainly was doing that. After 17 holes, she was even par for the day at Pebble Beach. Wow. Teed off, hit a terrific drive right down the middle of the fairway. The second shot landed on the green four and a half feet from the pin. Very difficult side hill lie. She studied that putt for a few moments, then she walked over to where the men were also observing. She said, you know, this is really a special day for me. I've always wanted to have a great round at Pebble Beach, and now I have the chance to birdie this course. It means a lot to me, and if any of you guys can tell me the best way to sink this putt, there's 30 minutes of the best sex you have ever have in your life in it for you. First guy goes over, he goes, you know, I had this exact putt about two weeks ago. I can tell you the best way to Put that is to hit it hard about five inches above the cup. Second guy pushes him out of the way, takes a look. He goes, no way, I had this putt many times. What you have to do is you got to hit a soft about 10 inches to the right of the cup. It's going to fall right in. Third guy walks up. Don't listen to either of them. Picks the ball up and hands it to her. He says, that's a gimme. That's a gimme. That's a, that's a, that's a punchline there? That's a gimme. It was a really long joke to get to a punchline that wasn't great. That's a gimme. <laughs> Johnny. Oh, man, I don't know. Gimme. Well, that was Johnny Ump's lame attempt at a joke on 103.7 The Loon. All right, Johnny, okay, everybody, have a good Memorial weekend. St. Cloud's Classic Rock Station. 1037, the loop. That a boy, Johnny. Woohoo! Now beat it.